Okay, welcome everybody. I am Jack Marks for Wall Street Reporter, and today I am speaking once again with Alan Paul Silverstein. He is the CEO of Imagine AR. The stock symbol is IPNFF over the counter and IP on the CSE. Uh, Alan, welcome back. Absolutely. It's good to be back. It's been a while since we last chatted, for sure. It's definitely been a while. Uh, you know, people were wondering what's happening with, with Imagine. It used to be known as Imagination Park. You know, we, you, you did a presentation with our, our next have, super stock we, live stream. Then we did right. here. And today, you the stock is the hottest stock on the CSE. Uh, the stock is, I think it's almost double. I'm looking at I think you're basically up about 80% right now. Right, and uh, the volume is the highest the company's ever had in history, 10 million shares in a single day, which is incredible. Massive. I think I think it's the highest volume <laughs> on the CSE right now. So, yes, it is. Um, Correct. Now, you because know, we, they knew we were going to talk today, Jack. Exactly, exactly. Now, you know, <laughs> we, were, we, were, we were supposed to have you back to do a, a live stream update in, a, in about two weeks, but we're doing this interview now because we're getting calls, we're getting emails out of the blue from people – uh, from the from the the audience who are asking what is going on with the stock. So, uh, Alan, uh, tell us. I appreciate that, and thank you for giving us the time, Jack. Always, always a pleasure to see you again. It's like it's like seeing family for me. So when the uh, we were we were running along great, and we were getting to the point with events and sports teams you know, go live with the that NBA Sacramento Kings, and then when COVID nineteen hit, we kind of took a step back because sports closed down. Events closed down, retail closed down. So what we really did is stop, kind of reevaluate what the opportunities are in leveraging augmented reality in this new paradigm that we're all facing. And really, after about 30 days of repositioning the company, really focusing on new verticals that our platform could serve and deliver a solution, but we never really looked for. And today's announcement was one of a couple that have come recently that have built a tremendous amount of attention to the world, certainly of Imagine AR, but of augmented reality. I mean, it's ironic that an unfortunate health situation is COVID-19, which is really a scary, scary situation and how we're even going to come out to the new normal. But it has really driven to the point that we've never been busier as, as we have in the last few weeks. I mean, I've done more demos in the last two weeks than I've probably done in months. And it's still going. And it's because of the re social distancing, the remote engagement opportunities, leveraging mobile AR on a phone. Uh, it's, it's amazing because, I mean, you know, before the, everything hit, I mean, uh, the last time we had you on doing you know, the next Superstock live stream, uh, yeah, everything was, was, was still the old, the old normal. And your business was very heavily uh, focused on you know, driving engagement and driving traffic to Retail and sports, which is ironically, those things yep. are, are gone. And now you're saying you're with a new reposition, things are better than ever. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, That's a couple amazing. of weeks ago, Jack, I don't know if you saw, we actually cut a five year deal with a group of sports legends Troy Aikman, uh, Mike Madonna from hockey, Johnny Damon from the Yankees and Red Sox, and the CEO and founder, Mike Vanderjet, very famous NFL pro kicker where we've been talking to them and actually just signed a five-year, $300,000 deal with them. And actually, that's just the minimum level of revenue. We actually expect it to grow significantly due to the contract we have, where they are looking to take celebrities, influencers, sports stars, and create this interactive program leveraging AR right in people's homes. So it becomes a program where they're leveraging AR and mobile phones, but bringing it to the houses with unique content, specific offers, and exclusive kind of membership opportunity. So we cut that deal two weeks ago. We've been working on it. We just announced today the joint venture partnership, uh, really a partnership of reseller with Engage Nation, probably one of the leading, if not the leading, casino solution company out there that's been delivering tech to engage casinos and bring traffic to it. And as you know, casinos have shut down. They've never experienced anything like this. So as they look to continue forward and then open up, how are you going to engage players? How are you going to bring players to the property? Engage Nation is one of the leaders in the United States. They're very well connected in servicing some of the top casinos in the United States. And this is an exciting time for us because they're going to bring AR into their platform and deliver it to all their clients. So it's an exceptional opportunity. And I, 
Obviously, by the way, the stock reacted today with over 10 million shares. We've never had that many trade ever since uh, certainly I've been with the company for over three plus years. It's been a new high of volume and it's, it's tremendous that people are understanding the significant opportunity yeah. now with augmented reality and casinos. You know, no, it's very interesting because essentially what, you know, which I find is, is, is kind of ironic is that, you know, you have sports shut down, you have casinos, everything is shut down. But, uh, you know, the, the hottest themes, well, the hot, I, I think what I think what investors might be waking up to right now and the reason why you're trading this massive volume is that, you know, essentially imagine AR is really kind of at the at the intersection of the two hottest investment themes right now, which is you have this remote virtual AR space with companies like Zoom, Teladoc, um, uh, etc. And then you have the sports thing, which is there weren't that many of these sports technology type stocks, uh, but anything to do with sports, and again, sports is dead, but you have stocks like DraftKings, which is uh, exploding. I mean, the stock is like uh, making new highs, massive, massive success. Even uh, what is it, Fubo TV, one one of our clients, which is the the, the live streaming, uh, company, their stock is is on fire, and they don't even have live sports right now. So right. I, I think investors are basically right now they're getting they're pretty much discounted everything, and they're getting ready, they're getting positioned in stocks which they think can capitalize on when things return. So as well as what's going on today, and I think you hit it on the spot. I mean, if you look at the intersection, Jack, it's the intersection. Certainly of the remote social engagement and activation, which is what AR does. We do sports. And I'm going to tell you that there are a lot of sports teams at different levels still today who are looking to engage with fans. They want to continue to build that community. They want to communicate with them. That's so there are a lot of sports teams that are out there looking for solutions and contacting vendors to provide an engagement opportunity while people are waiting to come back. And when we do come back, it's still going to be a blend. It's not going to be, let's get 50,000 people in the stadium because that's not going to be allowed. Maybe they get 10,000, 15,000, and there's going to be a continued new audience growth in the streaming area. So you can use augmented reality off of the streams to engage people at their homes. Take the phone, point it at the screen on the logo, and boom, up comes an activation related to player information, special offers. Uh, that is something we see that there's a tremendous growth opportunity with augmented reality. You know, again, it was an unfortunate circumstance. And when we reevaluate and reposition ourselves, casinos, live streaming, both sports. But as you know, you know, we, we had Mike Tunnicliffe join the board of directors, former EVP of Universal Music. We're going after live stream music. It's just been absolutely crazy busy for the last few weeks repositioning still our platform, but repositioning the target markets. And we see tremendous optimism going forward with augmented reality, which again is also dependent on mobile phones. And there's over 5 billion mobile phones globally. So you really look at it, AR has started to become a focus that many different companies, brands, sports teams, industries are now looking at. We were even just mentioned in a CNBC article, even a few weeks ago, they didn't even contact us what, quote, sports 2.0 is going to look for. And in the article, without even calling out to us or reaching us, it said, you know, Imagine AR is ahead of the curve in what they're doing with the NBA Sacramento Kings. I mean, that was a great endorsement that we were surprised even showed up. So it's been really an amazing new paradigm, and it got us to kind of reposition ourselves. And like I said, it is, we've never been busy, and we're extremely optimistic going forward. And Certainly the engaged nation with the casinos announcement today was truly exciting. We were, you know, looking forward to it coming out because I think with their position, their relationships, tremendous opportunities for imagining are in that space. It's very interesting. I like this. Sports 2.0. This definitely that's uh, that's where it's going. So so I guess the takeaway really is that, you know, this is like 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 you know, other companies in the space that this, you know, the coronavirus situation really is uh, helping drive new business, and this is driving new adoption of of you know, customers like these sports teams that they need this. Um, you know, it's a necessity right now. They're using this as a way to keep engagement in ways that they probably they didn't need this before. Actually, that's exactly it. You <laughs> hit it on the head. And we also did some things to help communities. We work with the Cincinnati Reds AAA team, the Louisville Bats, and they're a client of ours. And we propose to help the restaurant partners together. The restaurant partners obviously are 
are taking it very hard financially and surviving in today's environment. So we created an AR activation for them at 132 restaurants, their restaurant partners, Chick-fil-A, Hardee's, where we placed their mascot at each of those locations. So they had a whole promotion to their fans, the spectators and everyone else saying, hey, come support our restaurant partners, order food from them, download Imagineer, the mobile app for free. And then when you go to the location and pick up your food, take a picture of the mascot through AR at the location, post it up into the internet uh, for social media. And, and then at the same time, we will then pick randomly people to win tickets, memorabilia, experiences, and turn it into an interactive fun way, but at the end, helping those restaurant partners. And we donated that program to them because we felt that was important to help build out. And 30, 30, within, I think, 24 hours later, the Allen Americans, which is an ECHL hockey team I have never heard of, they said, we want to do the same thing as they do to help our partners. And we got them up and running as well within a day. So people looking for a way to help their sponsors and relationships, not only in sports and other areas, but at the same time, help engage people. And mobile AR is a great way. Uh, one of the leading analysts, Digi Capitalist, very well known in the industry, not necessarily outside. He just came out with a new report and he focuses purely on AR and VR. His estimate of the current market is four to five billion dollars per year. And he has for, a forecasted now with the quote, despite COVID-19, he expects the industry of AR to hit forty eight billion dollars in four years. I mean, if you look at that growth rate, it's just absolutely, you know, astronomical. No, this is definitely, and, and you know what's interesting is that, you know, I think investors still haven't quite woken up to the AR theme. There's really, it's something which is still not mainstream yet, exactly. although it's a huge market, but it really hasn't gotten on the radar. And I think what it does, it's going to be kind of like, you know, these other themes which, which you know, explode. Um Right. And we are the only pure play mobile AR company out in the world as a public company. Most of them who are like us or have tried to be like us, they basically are startups with VC. They're not a public company. So this is a way to get into a company that's really a pure play mobile AR company. When you look at other AR, when people look at AR to invest in, the companies they look to is Snap for Snapchat, Apple, Adobe. They are multi-product organizations that are huge but AR is a major growth area for them. Here we are, this little, you know, super micro cap, and even today showing 10 million shares traded already right. uh, with still an hour left in trading. But people are waking up to mobile AR, and we built this platform. We put enormous amount. We have a lot of IP patents filed on it. We're really uniquely positioned. And like I said, I, we've never been so busy as we've been in the last couple of weeks. And what's been great is it allows you to redefine your business, right? When you look at a major tragedy in a situation, you stop everything, reevaluate and say, yes, sports and events have stopped, but still there's a way to come out the other side. And here we are in casinos and looking at my music live streaming and digital. It just opened it up. And as we continue, there'll always be a blend. You know, the new normal, as everyone keeps saying, is going to be, yes, there'll be people at sports. Yes, there'll be live events, but there's going to be a huge population that's still remote social distancing, streaming, that's still the teams and organizations want to relate with, build a rapport with, and obviously monetize. And it's gonna be mobile AR, that's the way to go. This is, everyone has a mobile phone. Alan, I wanna ask you about a, a couple things, which I, I wanna get into some more details about the, you know, the Engage Nation, this casino deal. Now you mentioned the um, music live streaming, I wanna ask about that, because that's something uh, we haven't covered yet. But you know, what I just realized is, um, we're kind of speaking to our, our established audience that's been following your stock for a while. But what about for anybody that's new to the store that's just probably seeing the video for the first time, they might be seeing this on YouTube or whatever. Can you tell our audience exactly what does Imagine AR do in a nutshell? In a nutshell. Imagine AR gives any organization, any business, anyone, the ability to create an augmented reality mobile engagement instantly without the need for a programmer or any technical background. And we're probably the only company in the world that can say that confidently and demonstrate it immediately. Augmented reality is the ability to look through the phone, still seeing the real world, and a digital overlay of information, pictures, or other interactions. 
most people would remember, you know, when they look around and say augmented reality, they'll remember Pokemon Go, right? In, in 2016 came out and everyone's running around with their phones chasing Pokemon. That's done $3 billion USD to date since 2016. So we give organizations, sports team events, retailers, malls, you know, any type, restaurants, the ability to communicate and effectively build your community using a mobile phone. But instead of cartoonish Pokemon Go, you can use coupons, videos, images, you know, sweepstakes, lots of way to engage people through their phone safely. And again, when people walk around and the new normal could be with masks and gloves, they're still going to hold their mobile phone. So that mobile phone gives that connection, that right. safe connection to build off of it to drive revenue for business organizations or build their fan relationship for sports teams. Okay. Now, yeah, it's very interesting. It's, a, it's actually, I think, I think that because the fact that it uses mobile you know, as a platform, that's a big plus because, I mean, mobile is, you know, it's omnipresent. It's, yeah, you can't go anywhere. Without Five billion phones worldwide, and everyone who's sitting here who's going to watch this video, right. when they turn around and watch Netflix or anything at home, I'll say 99% are holding a mobile phone in their hand or it's right next to them. So we've become a dual screen world, right? It's a right. dual screen you know, society. Well, what's, how are you gonna engage people from the phone and the screen? Well, if I can point the phone at the screen to get activations and get special offers, unique content, it's pretty cool. I'll give you another cool idea that came in. Again, not from us. What's interesting is that what's coming in from resellers relationships. We had a group that works uh, reseller down in Florida, uh, Metro Science, and they've been with us for a while. So the high school down there they want to do a special graduation for their kids because everyone's remote. So we're doing an AR activation for them. Uh, and if any of them watch this, I guess it'll be public because they're keeping it secret to do an account down. And that secret is they're going to have the superintendent of the Broward School District. Uh, and anyone's watching, you've got to keep it a secret for the students. And they're going to dress up in a full cap and gown, the superintendent. And do a green screen, give a little speech, and then hand a little diploma in white on green screen. When you do mobile AR, it looks as if the person's sitting there. So we're going to drop that superintendent in that entire county. And the day of graduation, everyone's going to log in. They're going to download, see the uh, opportunity to download Imagine AR and then have that superintendent in their house, in their backyard, handing them the diploma. And our new feature of video recording, so you can integrate with TikTok and Instagram, they can record their own graduation digitally with the superintendent. How's that? That'll be the first AR digital graduation in the history of the world, coming in June. Interesting, interesting. <clears throat> now, the uh, I guess the the, uh, the news today that came out with this, uh, you know, the Engage Nation, uh, this casino marketing deal. Uh, you know, apparently the market likes this because the stock is really moving based on this news. So, can you get maybe into some more details exactly what is Imagine AR going to do, and you know where, where. How how can this relationship you know grow and expand right. from where it is? Well, Engage Nation, and if you look them up, and I'm sure people do their due diligence, and I believe that's what happened today, is one of the leaders of providing tech solutions for players and working with casinos, and they're one of the established leaders for a very long time. And we're excited to have the opportunity to be introduced to them through a mutual uh, business relationship. And you're looking at something that's probably no more than 30 days ago, again, with the repositioning, reevaluation, that they were actually looking for AR, augmented reality, to provide a portfolio solution to their clients of all the casinos, certainly in Vegas, who have had you know, a tremendous shutdown that has never been seen before in the history of the United States. And when they come out the other side, how are you going to engage players? How are you going to draw them into your property? Right. How are you going to provide a gamification activation to build out that relationship. And that's where, again, mobile AR fits in absolutely perfect and gives us an opportunity to work with them and their casino clients across the United States, as well as many new clients in that space. Yeah, it's very interesting because that's a, uh, you know, that's like a big you know, pain point for these uh, casinos right now. They have, you know, they need a way to get, you know, what is it? They probably have databases of millions of customers. Absolutely. Uh, and if they could send out some sort of you know marketing piece with AR in it, uh, with you know with the Imagine AR, you know whatever marketing right, or engage them when they get to the property, or engage them yeah. with games while they're still remote. There's a lot of different yeah. areas 
that I believe Engage Nation is looking at. Uh, we've spoken to Jerry Epstein, the CEO, uh, on a number of, of initiative opportunities. We're extraordinarily optimistic on the casino market, which again was mentioned, but with what has currently happened with the situation, it redefined some of our focus and allowed us to kind of build out this relationship that we're having tremendous amount of you know interest and optimism as we go forward to drive revenue for the organization in 2020. Yeah, and, and definitely, you know, I think, again, like to, to one of the, the, the most compelling things about this is that, uh, you know, a lot of these clients, a lot of your clients right now that you're working with, you know, they may not have this, the AR, this type of marketing was not on their radar, was not a priority for them, you know, exactly. uh, in January. And all of exactly. a sudden. That is so true. They would see it. And we've spoken to a lot of sports teams and a lot of merchants. Event. You hit it on the head, Jack. And a lot of them would say, this is amazing. You know, it's a necessity absolutely. right now for them. Yeah. To- but I, how do I monetize? And now the view is we actually, the people calling us and the phones are ringing, the interest, they know AR. They understand the basics of AR. And they're looking to use it to connect to their customers, their fans, their, their targeted market opportunities that they were not looking at in January. In January, we just assume people come in the store, people go to sports games, people attend events, that's gone. So how do you connect what we call in an uncluttered engagement? That's what we use. You know, on social media, everyone's posting, Twitter, it's filled. So it's all, we call that cluttered. How are you gonna stand out? Well, with mobile AR, I can go direct in an uncluttered one to person, you know, one person to many, right away in their home, in their phone. That's a pretty unique engagement, but extraordinarily economical. And since everyone's holding the phone, you pretty much know you're gonna get that activation with the right content and the right offer. So that's why mobile AR is taking off. And I think you hit it on the head, Jack. In January, was it a priority? Today, and in today's environment, it's become an absolute necessity. How do I connect with my fans, my customers, my base, and ultimately start driving revenue? And that's what mobile AR could do. And we're excited by Engage Nations. We're excited by Slap It On, and right. we're very confident we're going to see some more engagement opportunities as we go forward. And I, I, but again, I guess the, the real key takeaway is that this is it's not a it's not a one off deal. It's not like when the coronavirus no. thing goes away, all of a sudden the, this actually these people are going to stay in the, that business is is going to grow. You're going to have a massive exactly. New, new we have products that plug customers. into. We're going to plug into their mobile apps as an SDK, which is one of our top products, which we've discussed. It stays in there as recurring revenue. You're absolutely correct. So it's a recurring license, recurring revenue opportunity for Imagine AR, and it just continues to go. And once you plug it into the mobile app, again, what's the odds of it even being pulled out as we continue to go? So it's a tremendous opportunity for existing companies, sports, brands, casinos to tie, you know, to drive engagement in their app. And continue it, you know, in, indefinitely. And you hit it on the head. It, it will be recurring revenue and recurring fees as we go forward. Now, uh, Ellen, you mentioned briefly um, this music streaming uh, thing. What exactly are you doing there? Music. So, you know, the concert business shut down. So you don't have music concerts with many people going to it. So a lot of musical artists have switched to Twitch and other live streaming, you know, uh, platforms to basically get their music out most of the time on donation to help vendors and other charities, which is absolutely admirable and wonderful and and will continue. But ultimately, they got to monetize their business as well. So imagine again, imagine they are sitting at your home watching a live stream of a concert. And while you're there, certain logos or icons come up on the screen. When you point your phone, you can earn certain points, a reward system for watching the stream. And you can collect digital tokens, as we call them. So you can gather those. And then you could use those to purchase merchandise, be eligible for experiences, or be the first in line for the next live stream or exclusive performances. So it creates an ecosystem that allows the artist to start monetizing these live stream plat- uh, platform opportunities rather than just putting them online to keep themselves in front of their audience, but not figuring out a way to generate revenue. So it's a great way for musical artists, entertainers, influencers to leverage the internet interface with mobile AR to drive ultimate revenue and monetization as well. 
Ah, that's very interesting. Now, now you haven't really, I don't think you've discussed this before, the, 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 the sort of... We're uh, not discussed it publicly, but with Mike Tunnicliffe, again, the former EVP of Universal Music Group, uh, who joined our board of directors and has a tremendous network of relationships in the world of music, we discussed as everything started to turn with the pandemic, how best to leverage AR, and it's a perfect way to do it. And certainly we could, you know, drop musical artists in people's houses too. Very basic. But the real focus of AR should be engagement activation to drive revenue and live streaming music fits in with mobile AR perfect. And that's where we see we're going to drive that reward engagement and then utilize those digital tokens of reward for engaging a live stream with an artist to use for experiences. Per it's sort of like unlocking a video game, right? Your kids are, will play a video game, then they unlock a new level, new experiences. You do the same thing with AR, mobile phones, and live streaming. And it's not just limited to music, right? It could be sports, it could be lectures, it could be series, it could be anything. Right. So it's a new way to engage people on their second screen. Oh, it's very interesting. This is, this is the thing that uh, I guess I, 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 didn't, I didn't quite realize this before, but what you're doing uh, with the, the, you know, these um, kind of AR marketing things to get this engagement is, uh, is kind of like what's made social media successful, which is this... Uh, this dopamine effect, you know, people, you know, they get likes, all of a sudden they get, it brings them back, you know, there's, there's all sorts of like, you know, deep psychological, you know, uh, tricks that, you know, these companies are using to, to drive that engagement. So this actually um, adding AR experiences to uh, any kind of consorts live stream is really going to, I guess that's going to create that stickiness and engagement. That's super fan, right? Imagine you had a live stream and you're watching it and you scan it at the end of the concert, you get a digital token delivered right to your phone. You were there, COVID 2020, you know, Rolling Stones or uh -huh. Lady Gaga. So you can create digital collectibles of the experiences, which ultimately super fans love. And it's something they can collect and trade and create a secondary market of value that wasn't even there before. So I come from that collectible memorabilia business and it just was a natural uh, one of the partner opportunities we've had with someone who has a blockchain digital reward platform and looking at that opportunity to put those pieces together. So again, the, what's gone on in the current environment allowed us to reevaluate what we're doing and then reposition it, but having a platform that's so flexible and capable of doing everything, it just reoriented the market and the reseller partners that are all new and, and areas we didn't previously look at as, I guess, as a you know, premier focus but now have become the way we're going forward. No, that's 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 amazing. And um, I'm assuming that once you know these concerts return, you know, in, you know, live physical events, uh, these you know the customer relationships you have will continue using. Absolutely, yeah. you could do it right in the. So I could do AR scavenger hunts. You knew that, Jack. Like we're one of the leading companies in the world of AR who create AR scavenger hunts. Right. We've done it in quite a number of places. The last one we did before the. Uh, our new, our new paradigm of life was the Milwaukee Auto Show, where we had 20 booths like Mercedes and Subaru were set up right, as a right. scavenger hunt daily. So that'll go right back. So if I have a big music festival with 10 stages, you can create AR exp you know, experiences immersive in those locations as well. Uh -huh. and, and, one and, to, and to get people... Right. Right to get people to walk around, uh, you know, and exactly. buy from vendors. The whole, the whole right. Coachella. They can monetize uh, yeah. it with spot. You hit it on the head. And one thing with all these that this this also allowed to do in terms of repositioning our development is TikTok has grown enormously. Everyone knows about TikTok, you know, with the audience with video recording. So we haven't uh, said anything officially, but it's just we continue to do upgrades. But in early June, we'll be out with full video recording of AR. So again, imagine you had a player drop or a musical artist drop in your house doing a TikTok dance. You could record a TikTok dance with them and then upload it right up onto TikTok. So that's going to be something also that we're focused on is leveraging AR into the existing social media platforms. And then we fully integrate with social media, but now we integrate with the full video recording as well in early June. Uh -huh. Well, that's that's very interesting. The, the, the TikTok is, um, uh, this is like, the, this is like, the, this is like, you know, probably bigger than Facebook right now is a phenomenon. I don't know if it's bigger, but the growth it, has been enormous. It's, it's big. It's oh. bigger than Facebook. Like it, we're in terms of how fast it's growing. It's it's fun. And I think most of their audience is probably. I mean, the users are probably. I've I've never. I think it's for what like uh, fifteen year olds something. 
<laughs> but they're gonna grow. They're gonna expand to. I think. I think eventually it's gonna be adopted by older people. It certainly is, and it's growing enormously. So again, when you look at that high school graduation, you know, you could sit there and get your graduation, put it up on TikTok. I believe I've discussed that they should convince the superintendent to do a TikTok dance as well, so people could drop the superintendent into their homes, do a TikTok dance with them, and then post it back up. I mean, there's some cool stuff you can do with AR and video. And certainly because of TikTok's growth, that's somewhere we want to put position ourselves and then offer that to our clients in business as well to create AR experiences to share into that environment too. So you're going to have TikTok integration coming up? Well, we have integration with all social media platforms and TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook are all included with that. The key with TikTok is you got to be video and we've, we're coming out with that in the first week in June. Okay, uh, this is uh, you. You heard it here first. Um, you heard it. Here, well, it's not a major announcement, just a further enhancement that we continue to do on our mobile app, and it's something we knew was coming that we wanted to do. So, yes, you heard it here first with Jack, and this is some of the things we've been working on, and we've been quiet for the last uh, month or so, but right. certainly coming out of the gate strong now. Uh, okay, so Alan, let's. Uh, what are, are there any other um, you know revenue generation opportunities you're looking at? Like what's what kind of milestones do you have coming up for the next six months? Like, what what can investors expect to see uh, coming out of Imagine AR in terms of uh, news flow? I think when you look at where we are today and as we go forward, and I've announced, you know, when our first when we first did our first webinar with you and, and the webcast to your audience is the SDK, what we call the Software Development Kit, the ability to plug in the platform into an existing mobile app. I still believe that that will be the number one product we have. Uh, the list price is 75,000 uh, US per year as an annual license. We have absolutely discounted it recently, obviously, because it's the current situation. And also we've looked to propose multi-year deals now, which are backloaded on the revenue as well to assist companies utilize the technology now, help build their audience, and then as we go forward, building a long-term community. But I believe the SDK, there's 3.5 million or 8 million mobile apps in the Apple Store. I believe 3.2 million in Google. So if you combine the audience potential for putting in SDKs and leveraging AR out there, it's a pretty uh, infinite number at this point that we look at. So I think that's what we should be looking at, is looking at leveraging the SDK, seeing those announcements in very different uh, marketplaces, Still sports exists, but I think you're going to see whether it's Engaged Nation in their world with the casinos and other areas, music and entertainment as well. But that, that's what I think is the milestones people should look for as we continue forward those announcements. We don't do anything for free at this point. So also all these announcements you're seeing even back a number of months, they're all revenue generating uh, announcements. So we're very excited going forward in 2020. With the repositioning, great new partners, Slap It On also, doing a major amount of new programs with them as well uh, in the second half of 2020. And I think investors should be thrilled to see that this company is well positioned to take advantage of this new paradigm, leveraging mobile AR into people's homes and at locations anywhere in the world. You know, it's interesting, uh, Al, I, you know, when uh, we're talking about that, that intersection, that investment theme intersection of uh, uh, the streaming space. I forgot to mention one of the you know the the 800 pound grill, which is you know Netflix, of course, and you know Disney, all those the the, the those big streaming companies. Um, and what you could do with essentially these uh, uh, these live concerts with this AR really ties right into this you know entertainment AR con convergence. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Interesting. Absolutely. Uh, Alan, so let's let's do this. We're going to have you back. Um, you're going to be doing a presentation at uh, Wall Street Reporter's next Super Stock live stream uh, in about ten days. Uh, we're going to be okay. blasting out an email to um, to our full list, and it's going to be probably if you're watching this on YouTube, it's going to be uh, a link below. Uh, so, and then uh, you'll be able to share the rest of the story with uh, with the audience. Absolutely, we're excited to be back. Coming out the other side, and like we've said, Jack, it's it's an exciting time in the world of mobile AR. And again, unfortunate, and our, our prayers and, and hopes for safe health to everyone who's watching this and their families. Uh, I've got a lot of family in New York, which certainly has been greatly impacted by what's going on. But 
I think we're going to come out the other side somewhat together. And I know mobile AR is certainly finding a place in this to be part of everyday life. And I'm glad we've made an enormous investment today because right now everything is commercialized. We don't really need to build things from scratch. We have the product line. We're getting the, the sales flow opportunities coming to us. And I believe the revenue will grow as we continue forward as fast as the air market's going to grow in the future. So thank you for having us here. We, we look forward to being back in 10 days and hopefully we have some new and interesting news as well. Al, thank you, and, and, and we'll catch up with you uh, in about a week. Absolutely. Thank you, sir. <laughs>